Hey guys, what's going on? Me and Chaz back over here at Reps Fitness, and today it's all about the rear delts, okay? The back part of the shoulder, right back there, right back there on that fine drawing there that Chaz did, not me. We're focusing on the rear delt, the area that a lot of guys and gals don't really focus enough on because they can't see it. They'll do pound away at some presses, maybe some front raises, do some side laterals, and then they call it good. Yeah. They don't work on that backside because they can't see it because they don't care about it so much. Well, you should care about it if you want to care about the longevity and the health of your shoulders. It's very, very important. And also, it completes the overall look of the shoulders. It gives yeah. the round look. Yeah. It's it's very that, important. That almost diamond head look to that shoulder. Um, then also helps connect that, um, that upper back tissue um, with that rear delt. Mm -hmm. It all blends in yep. together. So. so you get that full musculature look in the back you get that nice v shape with the nice shoulders yeah attached it's, to it. so so it's very important <laughs> it is important and you should care about it and today we're going to talk about a couple exercises to help you improve that area if you're lagging and just to continue to build it if you're already on your way towards good rear delts first of all we want to talk a little bit about the function of the rear delt now the the rear delt actually has serves three functions it does horizontal abduction like a reverse motion without hitting shaz in the in the face here or in the chest and then i'm gonna like get rear flies yeah reverse like flies. exactly the rear flies and that does hit the rear delt but it doesn't hit it as well as if you actually go into extension behind your body and you can do that by bringing your elbows bending your elbows now you can get more extension when you build your elbows back behind your body let me angle this way here and then more contraction with that muscle right when you bring it back further right. behind you other right than that you're going into more extension there behind your body finally the other the third final function of the rear delt is to externally rotate the shoulder something that we don't get enough of a lot of times when we're pressing we're more internally rotated we develop this forward dominance this forward roll so we want to make sure we counteract that by doing external rotation exercises and so we can do it with what Chaz is going to start dem uh, explaining to us on this first exercise this is more just of a straight reverse fly right yeah pretty much uh, just single arm um, it really helps isolate the rear delt. Uh, as you can see, uh, bent over position almost parallel to the ground. Uh, you grab the cable with one single arm and bringing that arm back behind you, squeezing that rear delt into the upper back. Um, you'll notice that you can, that there's a lot of flexion when you bring it back to the full extension, but not enough unless you get that elbow bent as we'll talk about that here in a little bit. But bringing that out in motion, back behind to get a nice squeeze and then back to starting. Um, this, uh, this really helps isolate the rear delt, just like I said, and it's good, um, like after your compound moves, um, to get a lot of that rear delt focus and to get that extra work in uh, where you didn't really get it in those other compound moves. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's an excellent exercise to use, but if we want to actually incorporate a couple of the other functions like we talked about here at the beginning about getting that extension behind the body, we can do this exercise that you see me doing here on a cable, and what you're gonna be doing is focusing on keeping the elbow away from the side of the body. That's very, very important. Maybe sometimes you guys have noticed when you're doing a row, a seated row, maybe the next day you feel, oh man, I kind of feel tension up there in that, in that rear delt area. And that's because you are using that some, but you're also using a lot more lats anytime that you keep your elbows ab adducted into the side of your body. So by letting your elbow drift away from the side of the body, you're able to get more into extension and get more rear delt activation. So that's very important. Don't keep your elbows in tight, keep them out wide if you're looking to really hit that rear head of the deltoid muscle. Finally, we want to externally rotate the hand because, or externally rotate the shoulder. That's going to be our third and final component, component of full um, working of that rear head of the deltoid. So that's what this exercise does. Plus you get a nice, nice stretch there at the bottom as yeah. your hand's traveling back towards yeah. the weight stack. Especially if you really concentrate on that negative. You really got to focus <laughs> on it, yeah. Slow just... it down. Right. Don't let it pull you down. And as you see here, I'm not doing a lot of weight, so that's a nice way to really isolate the muscle. But just like any muscle, you want to make sure you overload it. And a great way to overload it is, of course, by adding more weight onto the stack. So Chad, you want to talk about the final exercise here? Uh, and this final, final move that I'm doing right here, uh, you see that my elbows are out wide. Um, this helps activate the upper back more when you're doing your row. They almost call, they call it a rear delt row, actually, other than a lat row or a lat pull. Um, this one actually activates your rear delts um, a lot more than you would normally if you had your elbows in on the pull. And this obviously, um, you don't get back far enough behind the torso to fully activate those rear delts, but you do get a compound pull and a lot of strength and motion out of that rear delt in this move. 
Yeah, so this is more of a mass builder. Yes. And you can load it up. Yep, and then you could also pre-exhaust with your isolation and then jump into that and then really have those delts screaming in the back or you can build and then go into your isolation to build even more afterwards. So. Yeah, so you have a lot of different combinations and yeah. you guys should always switch it up just like any other exercise or any other exercise routine, you always gotta switch it up, keep the muscle guessing. So I do that a lot here too. It's People important. Are like, Why are we doing this first? And then they do bench last in yeah. the chest routine then they can barely do what they normally do. And yeah, but the muscle doesn't know that and it's nope. something different. It's a different stimulus for the muscle. Yep, and so they get that uh, that isolation, the definition and before they actually do those compound moves and just switching it up, that's where it is. So. Yep, absolutely, sure is. So. So guys, focus on the rear delt because it does matter, okay? It's very important. The guy right here, he has excellent delts. He's happy because he's got some rear delts that are popping because he's implemented these techniques into this training. You guys can do the same if you just do that. Hope you guys have a great week. Let us know, again, we're always open to different ideas and suggestions for videos and topics that you guys want us to see us address. We'd be glad to make those for you here in upcoming videos. Take care, guys. See you soon.